What's going on guys? So I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Etnies Crank MTB, staying for mountain bike. So these shoes were originally made for mountain biking, not skating. But I'll still review them and see how they go. So first off, when you look at them straight out the box, you see that they have the Michelin threaded uh, bottom for durability. So you don't get holes at the bottom of your shoes as quick. So the next thing that you could notice is the sole that they come with. So the sole that they come with are the regular STI Etnies sole, just a thin layer. So what I did was I put my FP insoles inside of them for more comfort and durability and also uh, impact protection. This was meant for mountain biking, so they try to make it as waterproof as possible for all different kinds of weather. and seeing as the top of the shoe is a special kind of rubber that doesn't allow liquid through and they also put a lot of patching around the shoe so they can um so none of the water could go in between the seam of the bottom of the shoe and the top the tongue is also made out of the special material that doesn't allow water to go through and the top of the rim too over here is also a special kind of material doesn't let water through. So this is an all around waterproof shoe. You cannot get this wet. The top of the shoe is very stiff. As you can see, it's very hard to push because of this material. So what the material is called for the top is called Scotch Guard. So what I'm gonna guess and say is the special kind of material that 3M created to go with the shoe. They also insulated the inside of the shoe, so if it ever gets cold or your feet get cold during winter, then it actually warms you up. It's supposed to keep the heat from your foot inside the shoe. So what I really like about this shoe is the actual back of it and the front, how they have the guard to keep it more stiff in the back, so you can't bend it inward or outward. The only thing that you could bend is this top piece which is good if you're trying to just slide your foot in and it won't damage the back of the shoe. These have the regular eyelids for the shoelaces. Does it have any of the guards that the Jousons have or any of the other Maranas, which you could put your shoelaces through from the inside. So if you're doing a lot of kickflips, you're probably gonna rip the first two laces. The way I'm gonna rank these shoes, I'm gonna first look at comfort and see how it feels on my foot and how long it takes to break in. So the second thing that I'm going to be looking at is performance, how it feels when I'm flicking, how it feels like when I'm ollieing, when I'm skating my regular sesh. Uh, number three is going to be durability, how long these shoes last. So I'm going to do a couple of kickflips to find out how much the toe cap uh, lasts. Number four is going to be appearance. The thing that I'm going to look at is whether or not I recommend this shoe. So five being I really, really recommend it and one not at all and it's going to be recommendations for skating not BMXing or any kind of other uh, sport it's just going to be for skating. I will remind you that this shoe was meant for mountain biking not skating and this is a leather shoe not a suede shoe so it's going to be very interesting to see how the shoe performs. So during this performance test I did a couple of kickflips down the little ledge to get used to the shoe with the impact and also because I was using new shoes and new board with new grip tape, the board was very grippy. Better accurate test of how durable these shoes can really be. And for a couple of these, as you saw in the beginning, I couldn't get used to how to flick my foot because it was so much grip. And I did a couple of kick flips, I think it was like 10 or something like that. I wanted to see how it feels to be skating the leather that the Etnies put onto it. So I tried to do a couple of ollies up so I could just get used to feeling the texture of the shoe. Then I did the big impact. First rode off and then I ollied off to see how it feels to take the impact. I actually did not feel any of the impact, maybe because it was the FP insoles, but then for the running, like running off the ledge, 
and jumping down that was actually more difficult for me i actually had to run it off So as you can see, it's raining and I got my shoes on and looking at the shoes, no water is coming through. It's just staying on there, nice and easy. You just shake it off. If you live in a rainforest, this is probably the best shoe. No water is coming through it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. You're not supposed to be skateboarding here. That's our property, okay? You're not supposed to be skateboarding here. Wow. That's the cleanest big spin I ever did. So here's my final review of the Ennis Cranks, and let's just get started with the appearance. So after skating a week in these shoes, you can see that there's a little bit of damage on the toe and some damage on the side. But remember that I was skating with new grip and new board. So honestly, these lasted a pretty good time. The actual colorway, simple blue and gray with a little bit black on the sides. So very basic. I'll rank these three out of five. Let's move on to comfort and durability. So these shoes can still last you a long time, no damage on the bottom of the shoe, on the side, minimum damage with new grip. So for durability, I'll give them a 5 out of 5. I know that these shoes could last you a really, really long time, so I'm going to give these a 5 out of 5 for durability. Well, not the threat. Because of the Michelins at the bottom of my shoe, I couldn't really feel my board in the beginning, and since I also had FP insoles inside of them, they also had a, it was very thick, so I couldn't feel my board when I was trying to uh, do certain tricks. But after a week of me skating them, that's when uh, I started to get the hang of it. For a performance test, I'll give it a 2 out of 5. It didn't feel that good when I was skating them in the beginning, and honestly, um, the board feel from these shoes was very difficult. So you really have to get used to them, but after a while, it did start feeling like the Jocelyn's. So for comfort, I'll give these a 3 out of 5. So basically, these shoes are still stiff. As you can see, the toe of the shoes got a little bit loosened up, but still a lot stiffer than the suede. So leather is kind of not my uh, thing. So it took about a week to break them in, and it was very difficult to break them in. I would have my foot inside the toes cap. It was very difficult for my toes to keep straight. I had to keep curling them up because over here, it kept bothering me. It, kept, uh, it was way too stiff, and because it was too stiff, it was hurting the knuckles of my toes. So, so I'll give it a 2 out of 5 for breaking them in. So after skating a week in these shoes, now I'm able to tell you my final rate of these shoes. So I'll, based off every single uh, category that I put them in and I rated them from a scale to 1 to 5, I'm giving these a 60% out of 100% thumbs up.
So what that means is I think that they're 60% good. Not the best shoe, not the worst shoe, but they're about average. So if you guys want to try these out, you can. I'll give it a 3.5 recommendation. So there you guys go.